Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Ars Magica 2 Wizard Training. Now, in the last episode, I tried to plant a tree. And, well, it, it has come to my attention that this tree will not grow here. It, it will not grow here be, for several reasons. One, well, I you know, need more room for it. Two, the actual truth of the matter is it needs liquid essence to be in ne right near it in order for it to grow. So, as you saw, I just broke it up. We're going to move it somewhere else. And we're, but before that, we need to go and find some magical some essence. We need to get a bunch of it. You see, I've got two stacks of 16 buckets here that we need to go get some with. And before we do that, actually, I think I can do this in my inventory. And before we do that, we need some mana potions. I've always said, I need mana potions. I need to make some potions. And I just never have. And now we are doing it. There we go. We have two mana potions. So now we'll have some mana. If we run out, we can make some more. All right, so we're going to head off this way. We're going to go see if we can find some liquid essence. The more liquid essence we find, the better it will be. From what I understand, these trees grow faster the more liquid essence there is near it. Um, you now, in testing here recently, I've done a little bit of testing both on my server and off, and I've discovered or come to the realization that it does not matter how much essence you put near it. It does that, that only affects the speed at which it will grow. It does not affect the size of the tree. Yes, quartz, I know. All my trees that you saw me grow were small, but it, that's luck of the draw. So what we're going to do is, we're, like I said, we're going to go and see if we can find some essence and grow a grow a tree. I guess what I thought some was essence right over here. Then we keep passing right by it and left it there. It's probably easier to go look for the essence at night, which we will, I promise you. It'll probably turn nighttime before I find enough essence. Uh, I doubt that we're going to find, you know, a whole 32 buckets full of essence. But we're going to try and see and get as much of it as we can. Looks like one bucket right there. We'll take that. So we're going to get as much of it as we can because, like I said, the more we get, the faster the tree will grow. It doesn't affect the size of the tree, unfortunately. Oh, I wish it would, man. That would be awesome because then you can just put a huge pool next to it and grow it really, really large and not have to – and then mine it down and get a bunch of wood. All right. Well, the other benefit to this is it will actually let us navigate around and get to see our surroundings a little bit more. That's one thing we don't really do a whole lot is wandering around and seeing the world around our village, our little house there. Uh, I don't do a lot of that. I tend to get what I need and I stick there and pretty much that's it. You know, I don't do a whole lot of wandering. Hello, kitty kitty. I don't have any fish today. Oh, wait a minute. I think if I remember correctly, I believe there's this really big pool right over that way. So we're going to go there and see if we can find it. That'll save us a lot of time. If we can manage to do it, if we can find you know a nice pool of essence somewhere and fill up all these buckets and go back, we'll dig it up and we'll get this tree planted. And in, after we do that, the next thing I want to do is I want to get us a nether portal going because we're going to need to do some traveling in the nether. We're going to need some sunstone. We're going to need some quartz. We're going to need all the beautiful stuff that the nether gives to us, uh, including the blaze rods. If you've been watching... Oh, there's some right there. If you've been watching this, the server videos, then you know that I've been having problems with the blade rods on the server. Okay, once again, I'm going to turn my volume down. Um, and the reason being is we had some major issues on the server as far as mob spawning. That was one of the issues. Mobs don't just don't spawn right. And then we had some mob drop problems that... Mobs just weren't dropping everything they're supposed to. Like, you know, you kill a chicken, you expect to get a feather at least and and maybe a, and some chicken, right? Well, on the server, you weren't getting it. It, it was it was it the the chance of you receiving them apparently was set really, really low. And it took a while for me to find it. Once I found that setting, we've got it set now. I think it's all working. Is that just regular water? Yeah, I think that's regular water. Hold on. Yeah, that's regular water. Oh, look, look, I got a regular water bucket here. I did not mean to get that. My bad, my bad. So, we'll just pour this right out here. Jump out. 
We don't need that water bucket, right? We'll just leave it right there. Fair enough. All right, so that's that's been fixed on the server. It, it still needs some tweaking, obviously. Um, I've changed it on the server so that every time you kill a mob, it has a hundred percent chance of dropping the items now, which is a hell of a lot better than it was before. Now, it's, yeah, I guess maybe that might be too much, but in all honesty, I think that's the way it should have been to begin with. You know, when you kill a chicken, you expect to get a feather, you expect to get some chicken meat, and that's it. Now, I do know that it needs some tweaking because for some reason right now, some of the mobs are dropping twice. Like, for instance, when you kill a creeper right now, you get paid twice for the creeper. Because, you know, on the server, it pays for cash, too. So that's another issue I have yet to f address, and we will look at that at some point. Right now, let's get down because I don't like being high up. There we go. I don't really don't like being way up here. That's why I hate jungles because in jungles you tend to get up high up into the thing without even realizing it. I mean you're just trying to walk through and next thing you know you're falling down you know. Blah. Hey you know what? While we're at it let's go ahead and grab some of this jungle tree right here because we need some jungle wood so we can plant our own there we go cocoa plants outside the house. That would be perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh -huh. All right, let's continue our track for the liquid essence. Still on the track trail for liquid essence. Hopefully, we won't get lost. Kind of trying to remember my path back real quick, but this is a large world, infinite world, easy to get lost in. That's the only problem I've ever had with Minecraft. It's so easy to get lost. You go and build yourself a house and go wandering, and next thing you know, you're lost. So you have to build another house. And then three years from now, when you're wandering around again, you'll find the first house and be like, oh, crap, that's where it was. 200 blocks away. <laughs> All right, guys, seriously, I'm looking for liquid essence. Do you know where to... You... Don't look away from me. All right, that's right. Now, have you seen liquid essence? Where is it? That way. Okay, thank you. I'll go that way then. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your friend told me to go this way. Excuse me. Jeez. Uh, hey, where's the way up? Hey, Mr. Chicken. What are you doing down there? Mr. Chicken. What are you in the trees for, huh? Spy chicken. He's spying on us. That's right, Paul Soares, he, he termed it, he's right, the chickens are spies. All right, somewhere, I swear to God, we've traveled quite a distance, we should be seeing some soon, really, really soon, I swear to God. There should be some essence right around here, shouldn't there? Hello? All right, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and kill that sheep, I think he lied to me. The sheep lies, man. He's a bad sheep. Well, that's not liquid essence. That's water. Liquid essence. Seriously, am I going to have to go back with just four buckets of liquid essence? This is going to suck, really. And I don't want to be spending the whole darn episode looking for liquid essence. That's not liquid essence. It's too red. Alright, that's not liquid essence either. That's water. Alright, this is becoming a problem. And it's getting ready to be nighttime. Well, actually, you know what? That's probably a good thing. Because we should be able to spot the liquid essence at night because it glows, kind of. Any liquid essence in here? Hello, hello, hello. Just an echo. Echo, echo. Alright, nothing in there. Blah. Well, this is disappointing. This is... Whoa! Drop. Jump. And over. Watch me get back up into the canopies and like, Oh my god, I gotta drop down. Alright, I'll tell you what. We need to get out of this jungle because I don't think I'm gonna find any liquid essence in the jungle. That's serious. So we're gonna, we're gonna head right over here. Wow, that was quick. Oh, it took so long to get out of the jungle. All right, so we, I think now that we're out of the jungle, we might be able to find some more liquid essence. 
You know what? While we're at it, let's grab some plants because you never know when we might need these. Oh, look at that. There's some more. Take that and that and that and that. Thank you very much. Let's get you out of here. Put you back. Do, 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 which means mobs should be spawning soon. No, there's more jungle. Skirt around it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. The dark forest, yes. Or or the, the witch wood forest is what I think it, what it's really termed. But I call it the dark forest because look how dark it is in here compared to what it is out there. You see? It's so much darker in here. It's because of the canopy, man. That canopy makes it dark and stuff. And uh, the danger about the dark forest, well, this is an Ars Magica biome, honestly. But the danger of it is, is that it's always so dark down here, mobs can spawn even during the day. The creepers over there. Let's, let's avoid the creepers. Keep away from the creepers. Keep an eye out. We should be seeing some. I mean, this is the dark forest after all. Ferengi! No, sorry, joking. <laughs> Harry Potter reference. Don't mind me. You'll get it. Go watch Harry Potter. Go watch Harry Potter. I think it's the the Sorcerer's Stone. That's where where it is. When Harry Potter goes into the dark forest and he sees Voldemort eating the blood of a unicorn, and Ferengi comes up to save him. Yeah, there you go. I keep seeing the leaves dropping. It freaks me out. I'm thinking there's a creeper coming. I'm freaking out, man. Oh, there ain't going to be none down there. Hey, guys. All right, look. Shoot. Put the, hey, you. Walk away from me. Come back here. Now. I'm. Come back here. Freak. Now, you saw what I did to your friend. You will be next. Look back at me. I'm warning you. All right, fine, fine. We'll go interrogate this guy over here. Maybe I should just start with shooting, huh? Hey, you. Hey, hey, yes. So, look, look, look back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Liquid essence. Where is it? Nah? Tell me now again. Come back here. Where is it? Where is it? I, that's it. How dare you. All right. Well, they're not going to talk. How about you? I killed several of your friends. You going to talk to me? No. Power up. I missed. I missed. Oh. Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. All right. Seriously, though. Jungle. Let's get out of the jungle. I don't like the jungle. This way. See more dark forest. We're going that way. We're going towards the dark forest. Gotta keep about your wits about uh, you're going into the dark forest after all. Alright, seriously? So I'm in the dark forest and the most I've seen is like two creepers at a distance and a bunch of sheep. Bad sheep. Bad, bad sheep. Okay. Oh, we're not having any luck. I just see red eyes. Nah, okay. I could swear I thought I saw spider eyes. All right. Oh, look, there's some pigs. Maybe they'll tell me the truth. Hey, Mr. Piggy! Liquid Essence. Have you seen it? You did? Okay, where'd you see it at? Point! Tell me where. That way. Okay, we're going. If I'm correct, our house is that way. I think. I don't know. I have no clue. Hold up. Did I just see a chicken up there? I thought I just saw a chicken. The pig is lying to me. He's pointing me in the way of a chicken. He sent me back to the jungle. Oi, there's no liquid essence in the jungle. We've already walked it. All right, let's go this way. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He sent me, he sent me to an ambush. We're going back for that pig, I'm telling you. 
Piggy gonna die. Piggy gonna die. Ow! How dare you? How dare you? Do you know who I am? I am the wizard! Jeez! Okay, so I'm in training, but still. Wow. Hey, we need some of these. I need to use some of those. Oh, we need to eat. We need to eat. Really, really, really bad. Alright, so we're going to let that pig live. His time will come. Traitorous pig. Oinkers for him, I tell you. Oinkers! All right, we have traced through the jungle, through the dark for- Oh, hi. And we have not found what we're looking for. But we have found some other things that would be useful later. So, I don't know. We would need to start making our way back to the house. I guess if we're not going to find a whole lot more essence, we're going to just use what we have, I suppose. And let it go with that. I mean, it's going to take longer to grow the, the tree, but that's okay, right? I imagine that'll be just fine. I'll take these plants. Yep, yep, yep. Is this, is this, is this? Nope, just water. Drats! Why is there... Why is there light here, guys? Where is this light source? What is this light source? What is this light I see? Oh, there's lava down there. Okay, never mind. You traitorous pig. All right, um, let's head this way. We got to find the house. And we know there's a, jun a jungle. Yeah, jungle's that way. We know there's a desert back this way. So let's go back this way. We'll find the desert and we'll trace our way back to the house. Because I lost... Like, totally. See that flower. Yes. And I think... Yeah, look at that sky. It looks like the sun's going to be coming up soon. So we're good. Oh, yeah. I don't want to drop that one in there. That'd be dangerous. That'd be deadly. Deadly, deadly. Oh, now it's raining. What luck. Oh, right. Whoa, I saw him, I saw him, I where did I see him? Haha! <laughs> Got you now! <laughs> Alright, somewhere over here. Oof. God, that was a drop. Where's the house? Oh my god, we lost. Up, up, up. Wait, wait, wait that is water. Man, I was hopeful. Because I know... Oh, wait. There's the there's winter biome. So our house is back this way then. We need to go back this way. Yeah, I have done a little bit of scouting. So I do know that there's a winter biome. I know there's a... Obviously, there's a desert because we're right beside it. We live beside it. And obviously, there's a jungle because we just went through it. And there's obviously Darkwood for You know what? We were in the Darkwood Forest. We should have went ahead and got some wood. Oh my god. How dumb can I be? How dumb can you be? Went to the Darkwood Forest and came back empty handed. So I think right through these trees and we are home again. Alright, so you know what? We're going to go ahead and head back to the Darkwood Forest again. Because it's right back there. And we're going to take up some of those trees because we need them in order to finish our altar. So I guess that'd be a lot better than trying to plant the tree, but you know what, we're still gonna plant the tree. Hold on. We have eight buckets. And we're gonna plant this tree. Where are we gonna plant? We can plant it right here, that's fine. Right in here. On. Look, it's not raining. It's raining. Raining. Not raining. That's 
eight right there. Believe it or not, that is eight. Eight holes. We don't have a whole lot of room for error here. I'm gonna drop these buckets down in here. Do, 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 do. Put these down in there. What am I missing? I think I'm missing one right here. No! Bingo! And Bingo was his name. Oh. All right. Drop that right in there, and he will grow now because he has liquid essence near him. Un unfortunately, this is how you have to grow them. You have to have liquid essence right near them. Thank you, Quartz Pilver One, for pointing that out to me. Um, so we've got our tree growing now. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Which, oh, yeah, while I'm doing this, we need to reorganize. Let's, let's show you what I did. So I did a little bit of work off camera to try to organize my chest a little bit. Um, as you see, I put some... I put some crafting benches down here, put a torch down there underneath a the magic wall. And we have... I removed the ceiling here. The uh, only reason I did that is so I could put some signs up here. As you see those signs. Tell us what's in those chests there. So we've got treasures in this chest. Plants in this chest. So we're going to go ahead and throw our plants in there. All plant related items go in this one. Let's see. We've got, we've got some wood. Oh yeah. We'll come back and do that later. So I'll throw this right up in there. Let's see. Over here I've got dirt. So I'll throw the dirt in there. All right, these are wool, so they are technically mob drops. So I'll throw them in there along with this, and well, we'll take the egg back upstairs. See, this is not being organized. This is not being organized. Am I missing a bucket? Any buckets? What? Oh, I almost threw it upstairs. That's right. Durr. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we're gonna throw our buckets in there. Throw that in there, we don't need it. And we're going to take this egg out here. Because I don't really use eggs a whole lot. Oh, wait, look, look, we got plenty of eggs in there. And as you see, I've been harboring up some animals in here. We've got several more chickens and cows. Hey, we got one chicken out of that mess. Ba -ba -da -bum. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to get some obsidian. To do that, we need to make an obsidian, a diamond pickaxe. Now, while we're doing that, hold on, let's go back downstairs. Oh, well, it's just down there. I should have thought of it and grabbed it, but I didn't. So we'll look into our treasures box, as you see. Bada bing. And see, it's a little bit more organized. I've been compacting it down into the blocks. And the reason I do this now, because you haven't seen me do this before, but the reason I, I compact it into blocks now is because in order to use these as caps on our altar and our nexus, we have to have a certain amount. Like we have to have five for the for the altar and we have to have four for the nexus. So this way I can quickly look and say, oh, well, you know, I've got enough lapis to make that a cap if I need to. Or I've got enough redstone to make that a cap. But those are only enough for a nexus. Now, of course, you don't use redstone on nexus, but that's okay. Uh, the other reason is that this compacts it. So it, it, I don't have to use a whole lot of chests. I can actually, I generally only ever need these two chests here. All right, so we're here for diamonds. One, two, three. And we need some sticks. So we look over here in the wood. Oh, wrong. Everything's in the bottom to start with. And the reason I did this, instead of bringing my workbench down here, I left my workbench upstairs because that's for the bigger recipes that I have to you know, build up to because I don't have everything I need for them. So that's what I'm going to use that for. Down here is really just, you know, a quick, hey, let's make this real quick kind of recipe. Because the workbench really does kind of get annoying when it comes to that. And this is one of those cases where, you know, I don't need it to remember that this is how you make a, a pick. Because, eh, you know, I also don't need it to try to start the recipe. Oh, I'm going to go again. I also don't need it to start the recipe again when I don't need it. 
All right, so we're going to go downstairs and find some lava. Oh, I grab a bucket. Durr. We are going to need a bucket. Just one, just one. That's all we need. Oh, we need some food, too. I don't have a lot. We're going to have to go slaughtering something. We'll take this big potato for now. Oh, that's uh, another thing we can do. Hold up. I have wheat downstairs. Let's make some more bread. You don't have to slaughter anything. What am I kidding? I'm just joking. There. Now we have plenty. We have plenty of food. Yeah, what am I thinking? Let's eat this baked potato here. Potato tots. Alright, so we're going to go downstairs. Now by downstairs, I'm talking like into the mine shaft, away from this rain. Call this rain. So we don't have a whole lot of time left on this episode, but I think we should be able to get some obsidian in, in the time that we have. Um, wait a minute. One more thing I'm forgetting. What am I? What am I forgetting, guys? You know, you know. Think of it. Think of it. Think of it. Water. How are we going to turn obsidian? How are we going to turn lava into obsidian if we don't have water? That's just insanity. I'm gonna come back and get us some water. Thank you, guys. Look, it grew. All right, so it's not that big, but still, it's a, it's a decent size. But like I said, that's luck. You know, totally luck. Uh, you could plant the same. You can plant a tree there again, and you'll probably get a bigger one. Or you could plant it and get a really, really small one, which I did twice. But you know, it's luck of the draw. You know, every time you plant it, you're you're just kind of playing the roulette wheel, throwing the dice out there, seeing what happens. All right, we need some lava, and we need some lava quick. And I happen to know right where to get some. And notice I've been through here, and I have been mining, so I've lit it up a little bit more. It's a little bit safer than normal. I know you see me struggling through here before. Dub ding ding. Ooh, let's get that too while we're here. And we'll have other spells too I want to make here real soon because one of the things I want to build up to and one of the reasons we're going into the nether is I want to build up to fighting the bosses. Come on and break. All right. Now this is my this is a trick that me and my my wife developed. Uh, I'm pretty sure other people have done this too, but bada bing bada boom. We place water down in here. That way as we're digging, it doesn't matter if like on the other side underneath this one there might be lava. So if you stand here and you just dig and you press forward, then you can just start building a, a, a line. And this way, the water will turn the lava into obsidian so you won't fall into lava and die. It, it's a way of protecting yourself, essentially. There's three. Actually, we need to keep track of how many we have. I never remember how many total I need. See, I think it's ten for the nether portal. And... One, two, three, four. Four en enchanting tables, so that's 14. And I'm pretty sure we probably should just get it as much as we want, as much as we can, because some of the Ars Magica stuff is going to need it. Like, I know that if we ever go to make the Archmage armor, I think it needs obsidian, I'm pretty sure. Um, as you notice, you know, I'm not... I'm not exactly 100% pro. I don't have all the recipes memorized. I still have to look recipes up. Um, and I don't, honestly, with as many recipes as there are in Minecraft, and you add in another mod, I don't really expect anybody to memorize recipes for both Minecraft and a whole bunch of mods. It's just my opinion. You never should. I mean, it's, I mean you can if you want, but it's just, to me, it's a waste, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do something. This will help us out a little bit, keep us from sliding so much. We're going to go down that shaft right now. That way we can force the lava into going the direction that we want it to go. Get some more dirt here. Why am I digging it that way? Stupid mage! Can't for remember your own darn spells? What are you, insane? What's wrong with you? A little bit longer and we'll have enough for our nether portal, which means in the next episode we'll be able to build the nether portal. You see how that happened? You see there was lava underneath it and the water turned it into obsidian, so it's safe to walk on top of it. 
So yeah, here in a little bit we'll we'll have all the all the obsidian that we'll need to build our nether portal, which we actually already have it. I'm going to go ahead and build dig a couple more pieces. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll build our nether portal and go into the nether and we'll look into getting us some quartz and some and some sunstone. Sunstone's really fun to get a hold of, by the way. You'll uh, I've got tricks of the trade for that. We're going to have to take some Definitely have to take some gravel or some sand with us. So keep that in mind. Two more pieces, I think. And then we'll call this an episode. <laughs> Heck up, excuse me. All right, that's going to be it for here. We're going to head back upstairs. Now, I might come down off camera and get the rest of this. I might not. I don't know. Depends upon how much time I have available and what all I'm doing this week and stuff. But if not, that's okay. No big deal. We'll just come down as we need it. But for now, we're going to head on back up and sign out. So I want to go ahead and tell you now, Thank, as always, thank you for watching, guys. I mean, this channel, it's made for you. And it wouldn't be, it, this channel wouldn't be if it wasn't for you. If you weren't watching, uh, I'm sure you've seen it. I've, I've closed episodes, closed series before because people weren't watching them. But you guys are watching this show and I appreciate it very much. And so I want to say, as always, a like, a comment, and a share. That lets me know that you care. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.